Wait for Kiva's signal to overthrow L's dragon. Oh, oh, okay. Guess that's what we're doing now. Overthrowing L's dragon. Cool. We'll do that later. <laughs> Well, we gotta wait for the signal, so I, I, I can't really do yeah, it right now. No, you're right, you're right. All right, well, now we gotta go... Let's get the water on, yeah. Yeah, all the way down there. Is that where the water is? Is that... I guess so. So, this is where we go to get the water, eh? Apparently so. Hello, random person. Are How you are friendly? You? You're brandishing a weapon, I see. You there. On what business do you invade our land? We're not sure. Also, what's wrong with your neck? You got, like, a Diplodocus neck going on there. <laughs> You're not insane, which is a nice change of pace. What's with the crazy guys attacking me? You speak with a sound mind. This is good news. The Taken Ones have run over our lands and hold us hostage here. They come day and night by the hundreds, destroying everything they once loved. They take our healthy warriors and turn them to their evil. Oh, no! Oh, sorry to hear about that. I'm looking for a chieftain. We were sent by Silverman. Silverman? Of New California sent you? We wondered when he would get our message. Come, this path will take you to the chieftain. Neat. Don't shoot at me. What's your point in that? <laughs> All right, lead the way, you weirdos. All right, I'm sure this won't tell. Oh, he, was he literally? He was literally right there, huh? Is that your chieftain right here? Hello. Greetings, traveler. May the forgotten gods look kindly on your path. Cool. All right, have fun on your trip back to Pandora. You guys gonna drop that boulder on me if I do something stupid? I bet you are. <laughs> I bet you are. Mm, it's, it's primed. It's primed and ready. Chieftain, I led the moron into the trap. He fell right into it. The big travel war drum right there, I see. Yeah, very nice. I don't know if it's a war drum, but it is a drum. You got fairy lights. Yeah, that's cool. Nice totems. Nice shanties. Uh, yurts, you've got some delicious yurts. Why are you guys blue? It's, it's weird. All of your women are blue for some reason. Dabu di dabu die. Why? Oh, nice totem you got. Look at this thing. It's a totem made out of heads. That's kind of neat. Come. This path will take you to the chieftain. Yes, he's right here. Oh, hey, it's voice critical. What's up, everybody? I'm the chieftain. <laughs> Welcome to Ziabula, city of the forgotten gods. Home of the free California tribe. Come, sit. Coming at you raw, no rubber. <laughs> I can't help but notice there's a bunch of infected people out there. Driving some of your tribals crazy? It is the mind virus. An infection that robs the living of their soul and replaces it with that of a demon. Neat. The demon king sends it to fester in our young... He seeks to destroy our kind so that he may reign free over the lands he wishes to possess. Right. Uh, so is this a problem that I can or cannot solve with a liberal application of Buckshot? He has ravaged these lands for many years, stealing our children, mothers, brothers. He leaves only pain in his wake, a fate worse than death. The Ells Dragon. Our tribe now suffers here on the edge of the Great Divide. The end of our time between the old world and the new. Uh-huh. But the Demon King, his reign cannot last in the face of defined life. Uh -huh. He must scorch the earth, leaving only barren wastes. Sure, sure, that goes without saying. Emptiness is his empire. Do you have a doctor? What are you doing to stop this outbreak? We hold our lines at the canyon. We send hunters to kill the lost ones before they return to do us harm. Any success? We are searching for a champion, a hero of our own kin to rise, to slay the Demon King and his army of horrors. But we fear they may not come. Yeah, probably won't. We have turned off the water from our tribe's fountain in hopes that the virus will not spread. Ah. And to get the attention of the Silver Man. Yes, you have done that thing, so let's talk about the situation then. As you wish. You may state your business here in Ziabula. We need the water turned back on! This is possible, you see. But the magic is not of our tribe. 
The water's ghost has died and must be awakened. The w what? He no longer hears our cries at his altar, and the waters no longer flow. Those that drink are infected by the mind virus. You mentioned that. We have water here that can be spared and carried on foot to your silver man. Or, if you have the thunder in your hands, restore the ghost of the waters. Yeah, I'll do that one. <laughs> Wait, you just have a bunch of water lying around that's not infected, and you're just gonna give it to us? That seems very dumb. Where's this technology that you refer to as a ghost? The gods of lightning once lived in the veins of the down below. The ghost of the Rossman lives there in the walls. Rossman, you say? As in Dr. Kevin Rossman? Huh, imagine that. All right, point me in the right direction. The altar of the ghost is not far from here, around the bend from the canyon along the south wall of the Arroyo. You're in Arroyo. Go now and see the ghost for yourself. Where did you find a tiny human skull? Don't what? answer that. Don't answer. Never mind. Don't <laughs> answer that question. Use the magic of thunder to restore the waters to us, and we will allow them to flow to your silver man city. Or we could take all this uninfected water you have here. Just bring it on foot, I suppose. Yeah, we could do that. You would have to be some kind of a Superman. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you would have better luck pushing it back to your Silverman city on a cart. But alas, none are here, so your strong back it must be. We'll just make Ben carry Recruit it. Recruit some friends to assist you. It cannot be so hard for you to make friends, no? <laughs> Careful, buddy, you're on thin ice. All right, show me the cave in the water. Hmm, very well. You will find them around the camp. I wish you luck and strong legs. And I hope no more of your people right. get infected and die. Please take all this uninfected water off our hands. It's such a burden. We want we to aid our NCR allies. I guess they're not NCR ally. I don't understand. Complex geopolitics with the tribals. Boy, oh boy, it's my favorite. Hmm, this must be the secret room. This looks like the place. Yes, let's enter. Ooh, dark. Lights. Shotgun. So, Action. How do we turn the water back on in here? Hmm. Pickaxe. Uh, mining axe, all right. Is, it, is this it? Is this the valve? Is this literally the technology they couldn't figure out? You can tell that turning this valve will restore clean water to Union City. However, it is stuck shut, and you are unable to turn it, weakling. Oh, boy. Should have put more points in his strength, I guess. Oh, maybe something in here would help. Mm. That's not safe. Ew, no walls. Everyone can see. <laughs> Why is that? A, draw claw. a drawing of a deathclaw farting. Or maybe it's spraying piss. Who knows? Uh, who knows? My legacy... It took a long time, but finally my hologram is complete. Praise Robo Jesus! In the event anything should happen to me, this hologram will be my final legacy in this ass backwards world of pseudoscience and maleficent false prophets. Prophet is the right instance of prophets. I hope the hologram proves useful to those who need it, and if it can make their lives better in any way, then that will be good enough for me. I only pray this place is safely hidden from the raiders. Funny, in the end, I'll continue to exist as a machine. Growing up, I'd always dreamed what it would be like to be a robot. Now it's finally happening! In any event, if this should be my lasting memory, I'm wondering if I should program a fuck you message from Box Boss Maxon. Just in case. You know what I'm saying? Rossman. Uh, thanks, Rossman. Let's see if we can get this thing working. Uh, terminal's broken. Dang it. Dang it. All right. Uh, you have a repair skill of 40. You can fix it. Mm. I can fix it. Science skill is less than 70. Uh. So you fixed it, but you don't have enough science yet. Put on the Vault Lab uniform, try and help it out with that. Science uh, 64, do we have a science magazine? Maybe a, a, a science digest? I picked up some great men's hats. Some programmer's digest. Ah, there you go, and that'll be enough. Booyah. Let me search Google. Oh man, Genie is out of the bottle. Hot damn, this is a relief. Freedom! <laughs> it's Rossman! Whoa, hey. hang on a minute. How long was I in there? Data check. Three days? 
That can't be right. I was, uh, oh, hold on. We have guests. Gotta get my mojo together. <clears throat> Hello. Greetings, warrior of the California tribe. I am the great techno wizard, Dr. Rossman. Ask me your question so that I may use science to reveal the wonders of the universe to you. <laughs> okay. Hooray, he's still alive in a sense. Behold, the power of science will... Wait, you're not a tribesman. Who the hell are you? How do you know? Uh, hello, Dr. Rossman. Yes, I am he. Well, his disembodied personality and magic blue smoke anyway. Now I'll ask again, who are you? Um, I'm Zach. I was one of your students in Vault 18. What's this thing? One of my students, huh? Well, this is a hologram emitter, and I am the ghost of Christmas past. Cool. Until you come up with a way to prove to me who you are, I'm not going to divulge any of my secrets. Oh, boy. So this must have been built before I was adopted from old Vault Tech. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't talk to me like I ain't here. Who taught you your manners? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Look, enter this Pip-Boy ID. Two, four, six, oh, one. Well, hot damn. This is a Vault 18 Pip-Boy. One of my old ones, if I ain't mistaken. Huh. Well, all right. I'll trust you. What is it that you need, kid? So, where did you get a hologram emitter, and why is it here in tribal territory? <laughs> This is part of an old Wasteland Scout adventure, something I, the great Dr. Kevin Rossman, cooked up to help the local tribes. None of them understood technology, you see. They needed a water source for their tribe. Just so happened, the emitter was still here. Some guy in the Wasteland named Bragg showed us this vault on the map, so we gave him a place to live back home for the services. Shouldn't have done that. Then we decided to help out the tribe. I tell the tribesmen something in a language they understand and fix their clean water supply. If I can. Say, you know anything about this water situation? Bragg never did tell us how he knew about this place. He claimed he was from Idaho. Before we get into that, I, we gotta warn you. It's a message from the future. Don't trust Bragg. Colonel Bragg kills everyone. Colonel? Oh, hell, man. He's a wastelander. Ain't no colonel. If we're being honest, he's just dirty. Not sure what he was doing with a water chip. Wow, you guys really had no clue whatsoever. You're just like, yeah, come on in. Oh, what's that? You used to be a part of the Enclave? Oh, I don't know what that is. What do you mean? Nobody lived. I'm like the only person left. Well, except for the other people, but they were like, no, I don't like you anymore. So they ran off into the wasteland. You mean I'm dead? Yes. Oh, man. I knew this would happen someday, but I always expected I'd be old. And Gray. You are old. And the vault? All the scouts? Damn it. I should have been there. I could have done something. Distracted them or... Ah, who am I kidding? I'm just a hologram. I can't even touch myself. <laughs> <sighs> well, I guess that's it. Okay. This is all that's left. Four walls, a broken water line, and a slowly fading hologram. Shit. I'm sorry, it just sounded sexual the way you said that. Yeah. Maybe maybe you didn't mean it that way, but no, you cannot touch yourself. Please wait until we've left. Also, Bragg's dead. I killed him twice. What do you mean twice? You mean that motherfucker who killed me came back from the dead like some kind of zombie? He's not the only one, but regardless, he's definitely dead now. Zack shot his head off into chunks and then the vault exploded with him in it. You see, that last part is not making me feel any better. Damn. You should have just left me in that hard drive. I was happier. I don't want to know any more details. Not right now, anyway. Go on and tell me why you're here. They have a seizure looking at your flicker face. Yeah, that's kind of really hurting my head. Um... Well, there's a, there's a play going around. I read the notes. Uh, Dr. Kyoto cured it a while back. Can you cure it again? It's back, huh? And the tribal shut me off, didn't they? That would explain why I was offline so long. Listen, my job here is to keep the water system clean and full of the antivirus. I can't vaccinate dead people, understand? All we can do now is prevent more folks from getting infected. Purge the system and get it flowing again. Yes, do that. Okay, cool. How do I do that? Well, now that I'm back online, I can set it up. Good. All you have to do is turn on the water valve and let it flow. As long as you have a strength of more than just two, you'll be able to turn that. You do have that, right? I'll just use leverage! Good. Just head out there and get it running. 
and I'll start fixing things. I'll use the scientific principle of leverage! We'll make Kurtz turn the valve. Yeah, Kurtz, you fucking turn it. The computer has unlocked the valve for you, and you are able to turn it, restoring clean water to Union City. Yay! Excuse me. Aha! Back out of the box again. Stop touching Yeehaw! yourself! <laughs> you said wait! Oh, hey, kid. You here for that quick math lesson before running off into the wasteland? So, um, why did vault build the vault as experiments, he said, knowing full well the answer. Well, from what I was able to find out in Vault 18, the Enclave were in control of the vault program. What? No, There were a few what? dozen vaults built to work as intended, and hundreds meant to test people under varying bizarre experiments. Vault 69 was built to contain 990 women and just one man. Vault 68, the opposite. Vault 10 was stocked with nothing but super-fattening hyperfood, and Vault 42 only had lights under 40 watts. As you can imagine, there were countless thousands of people in every vault, each just as weird as the last. But why? Honestly, I can't tell you. My only theory is that some were designed to test long-term space travel. Maybe the Enclave planned to destroy the Earth and use the Gek to build a new one on Mars. Good luck, that thing's finicky. But others, I think it was just the product of a twisted mind. Probably. Even Vault 18 wasn't free. But we were designed as a control vault, on the surface, until you see all the hundreds of cables spread all over. The real experiment was to test the reaction of a control vault that discovered all the others were psychotic experiments. <laughs> they wanted to see how we'd react to the knowledge that so many others were part of a sick game. Neat. And if we would push to self-destruct. But we aborted that early on. I guess it doesn't matter now. Besides you and me, no one will ever know. Uh, no, I, lots of people, whatever. I'll see you around. All right, that sounds good. And hey, tell the tribes they can come and pay me a visit anytime. Playing science guy is about my only occupation. So it's nice to teach the locals about things they've never dreamed of. Stars being far away, the cells in your hands more numerous than grains of sand on a beach. Can you imagine learning that for the first time? Being that I'm dead... It's good to know that the light of knowledge can still shine on the world, even down here in the dark. Good luck to you, kid. Yeah, you're serving a great purpose. However, you are living a horrific existence where you basically never die. He's a computer program, so he could just turn himself off and not think anymore. If he even has that ability. It's called Zio blah, 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 All right, so now we fix the water supply. So you don't have to... Okay, hang on. I gotta... I have to address this really quick. I have to address this really quick. Yeah. He was like, oh yeah, you can totally take all the water. You just have to carry it all on your person. I mean, I guess if you had a cart or something, you could use that. Ha 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 ha! Carts don't exist! Well, this cart has a flat tire or something. That's... You <laughs> could still use it! <laughs> you can still... They got two of them! <laughs> yeah? Do you need something? The water is flowing and the power is running. Yes. It was good to see my tribal brothers once again, though I am ashamed none recognized me. Oh, this is his tribe. We should report back to the general and see what rewards he has for us. And what we have to face next. Okay. Cool, great. Bye. What's up? I can't help but notice all that water is super moist. <laughs> you have returned. Welcome back to Ziabula. Yeah, you're welcome. You know anything about my tribe, specifically? I guess I was called, like, I was from the Orion tribe. Hmm, yes. We know of the Orion tribe. Of what they once were. They, like we, were exiles of the underground. Wait, so we're Vault 18 exile? So I was a Vault 18 exile. Got let back into Vault 18? Got brought back oh my god, this makes no fucking sense. Yes, yes, but we dare not speak its name. We play the game in the California tribe to forget its place and numbers. <sighs> My friend Ben had a similar game he played. He lost his entire memory. Amnesia! You speak of Kurtz, of the California tribe. Yes, I remember him. He's legendary. He took up the forgetting fruit, and now he knows no truth. The game evolved into a sacrifice to the old gods. Their names and words are forgotten to us, 
and so too we forget those who pass through the veil. The world arising from the forgotten smoke of the old before. Mm -hmm. Kurtz now. Yep. He seeks in himself the truth and finds <laughs> a strength which was not there before. Does he now? He left a boy. He returns a warrior. Oh my. Tell me that you just got a passing grade in your creative writing course <laughs> without telling me you just got a passing grade in your creative writing course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about the Orion tribe? They were a tribe. One of many named after the stars. They were taken by the demon king like many others. And you, their child, were taken in by the Ross man. Oh, that's why my last name is Star. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> there is nothing left of the Orion now. Only you. There were only a few to begin with, and now they are none. It is a sad fate. You are alone. Well, Great. he's not alone. He's got me. How uplifting. Bye. Yes, go now and find your way through the wastes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the NCR and give him the good news. Oh, I've waked in the sun for too long. <laughs> I just was laying here and, oh my God, I ate too many eggs. I ate too many eggs. <laughs> too many and, eggs? And then I went sunbathing. I ate too many eggs and I went sunbathing and now my skin literally looks like it's made out of leather. <laughs> Put the she warrior and a radio headset. Look how cool I look now. Yeah. I look like a real fucking weeb. Samurai Niner, you got it. Ugh. <laughs> Hazmat helmet. That's some protection, all right. Yeah. It's a scuba. I can kind of dig it. Oh, this NCR soldier died and had a note that said, Dearest Ian, huh? Yeah, not my problem. I'm curious what it says, though. Dear old friends, hello, Ian. It has been a while, hasn't it? You probably thought you'd seen the last of us once you skipped town, didn't you? We must admit, the pass is quite a long way to go to escape your sins. Oh, this guy's been hounded by debt collectors or something. But like we told you in the beginning, there is no running away from this life. You're the one that went to college. You're the one that decided to take all those student loans out. This is your fault. Now you must pay all those student loans back. Oh, no, it's a, it's a, it's a... It, it's the mafia. It's the mafia. Oh, and your wife is looking just ravishing these days. Life at that little safe house of yours really suits her. You're a lucky man. See you when you get home. Well, no, you won't anymore because he's dead. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, he's dead. So, whatever. She's gonna wear she's gonna wear this mask looking like Psycho Mantis all up in this bitch. Go for it! What's the matter, Snake? Don't like girls! I know you like Super Smash Brothers. You're back. How'd things go? Uh yeah, Kiva accepted the deal and Vargas is on her way on her way to the slave camps. Excellent. I have a feeling this will come in handy pretty soon. Sure. Keep up the good work, kid. After you finish the next mission, come back and talk to me. We may need to get into Athens Tech, and now we have a way in. And we never heard from Vargas ever again. Okay. Come on! Yep, still doing the boxing. Yep, yeah, you guys are still doing that. <laughs> Wait a second, who's that guy with the pink hair officiating? Uh, that's pink hair officiator man. Ah! Hi. <laughs> Careful, there's some rubble up there. How'd you even get up there, man? Do you have someone lift ah! you? Also, is your boxing ring using fucking barbed wire? Oh, that is metal as hell. That is incredibly metal and also very dangerous. A nice poncho. <laughs> poncho versus metal armor, Jesus. If we take pink hair off his pedestal, we can loot his body and see who he's supposed to be. Yes! Maybe. Was, that was a good idea I had. That was on purpose. Stunning Stephen okay. Bowie. Have you had enough? And then he died again. Target locked. I've got you now. You're not an airplane. Why did you say oh, target hey. locked? <laughs> I'm an F-16. General Silverman, we sold your subordinates into slavery. Well, looks like everything's in order. I was half expecting you to be at this for weeks, if not wind up dead. Glad I was wrong. You're an asshole. With water and power sorted out, even temporarily, we can focus on bigger concerns. That stated, there's another mission underway. Captain Jameson is leading a squad of troopers to secure Fort Dagger Point. If you're interested, it's a high-risk mission and they need another set of hands. Payout is 500 bucks on completion. How's it sound? Uh, it sounds awful. What's the catch? 
<laughs> Catch is that it's high risk. The survivalists are likely already on their way and have raiders stationed in the ruins. Old Fort Dagger Point looks like a hell of a hard place to fight. The terrain calls for a person of your finesse. Outside the box combat, so to speak. Before we assault Fort Dagger Point, can you give us a little more information on it? We know that it used to be a military compound. That's about it. We've combed over our pre-war military records and all documents related to Fort Dagger Point are shipping manifests. One way in, those gates. It's all marked classified. Mm. But we do know it has a vast store of old weapons technologies. If we can break Fort Dagger Point open, we can win this thing with the Raiders. All we have to do is hold on to it. Oh, there we go. What do we do once we get inside? Shopping spree. We're sending a herd of Brahmin along Goodness. so you can go down the shelves with two arms and gather all the gear you can fit on a cow. Supermarket sweep! We enforce our position here at Union City with the acquired loot and we'll be the first threat to the Raiders. That'll tip the balance. When NCR forces arrive later this week, we'll be able to launch a full-scale operation to prospect Dagger Point. Till then, this is our big hit. All right, how do I get in? We recently acquired an ancient pass key that unlocks the Great Gates. Talk to Senator Duville in his office. He has the key safely tucked away here in town. Ugh, do I have to go talk to him? Can't you just tell me where it is? What if the Raiders are waiting for us to open the fort? We have plans for that eventuality. You'll be going in first, taking out any and all Raider resistance as you go. Your Raider resistance. After you're at the main gate, we're calling in an NCR Vertibird squad to park in the main area. It's old enclave gear from the war, but it'll do. The Vertibird's support and additional troop numbers will bolster your spearhead and take the fort. Raiders may counterattack, but we'll be ready. Yay, all right, well, I'll go handle it. Talk to Senator DeVille, then meet Captain Jameson in the main square. He's leading the caravan across the waste. Oh, right, by the way, this is the money that we owe you for this mission. Up front. We don't know what you're up against, so stock up. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Isn't Captain Jameson a little busy with the rescue effort? Uh, you know what? We'll deal with Vargas later. Hey, fatty tatties! So, Silverman sent you to ask me for something. What is I'm it? to turn down the glow in this room? Jesus. Yeah, good lord. Fucking bloom adjustment. He said there's a mercenary in the cantina with some... Oh, wait. He didn't say there's a mercenary in the cantina. <laughs> What's that? You say there's a mercenary in the cantina with some type of key to Fort Dagger Point? Ah, uh, yes, her. Another one of the General's grand schemes that cost the NCR a quarter of a million dollars. What? Shut up! Anaya Ran is her name. I'd hardly call her a mercenary. She's barely even a bounty hunter. No one knows who she works for. But she did find the key to Fort Dagger Point. Several dozen special agents died in that process. Watch your back. Are we paying her with the money we just got? I was told that she won't be bought. I don't trust people who can't be bought. You never know where their loyalties lie. But Anai wanted information. Something about a pre-war military organization called Project Brazil or something. It probably doesn't even exist. Tell her that Project America went up in smoke. Project Brazil is active. Project China, Denmark, and France are a thousand miles away. What? Whatever that means. If that feels, I'll give her this check for $1,200. <laughs> All right, cool. Brazil's a country. It might be. Maybe. It was probably wiped off the face of the earth in the Great War. It's just a myth now. Get a nice, damned expensive key and follow Captain Jameson to Fort Dagger Point. Report to me what you find. Okay, we probably should have acquired the key before we formulated this mission to infiltrate the fortress that requires it. Yeah, also, you mean report to Silverman. Yes, quite. God, I hate that man. I couldn't tell. Are you annoyed with me yet? It's kind of, uh, kind of annoying, you know? I'm as loud as Ben's shirt. Da -da 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 